Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the best part about Zotero, which is how to create a bibliography with a single click, which will save you a ton of time whenever you are writing papers. So first I just want to point out that you can do this in either Microsoft Word or Google Docs. I'm going to start by showing you this in Google Docs. Um, when you install Zotero, this should have integrated it into Google Docs and Word for you. So you should now see a Zotero drop down in your Google Docs. So as I'm writing sentences, I can add in-text citations by going to Zotero, add edit citation. That will give me this little Zotero ribbon. And there are two different ways that you can navigate your Zotero library to add citations. And you can toggle between them by clicking on the drop down next to the Z that says show citation options. And I'm going to switch to classic view because many people think this is a little bit of an easier way to navigate um, your Zotero library. So I am going to click on multiple sources. Um, in many cases, you'll be adding more than one citation to your sentences. And this allows you to select citations. You click the green button here to move them over to the panel. And this panel on the right here indicates which citations will be added to that sentence. So I could keep adding more. If I change my mind, I can remove one of them. And you could also change the order of them with these up and down arrows. So. That looks good to me. I'm going to add these three citations. Okay. Now you're going to keep writing sentences and adding citations in this way. And when you're ready to add your bibliography, you simply click add edit bibliography. And that is going to appear with a single click. Um, so as you can imagine, this is so much faster than typing this all out by hand. One thing I do want to mention is that it's important that you take a look at the citations in your bibliography to make sure that they are complete. You might remember from a previous video, it's possible that some of the metadata um, sometimes doesn't come into Zotero when you're adding your literature. And so occasionally you might get a citation that is incomplete or missing information. So you do want to take a glance at it to make sure that it looks complete. Um, another really great feature of Zotero is that you can easily change the citation style. So if you write your bibliography um, and then find out that your professor actually wants a different citation style, all you have to do is go to document preferences. And here you can select the citation style that you would like to use. Click on that and it's going to automatically update it, both the in-text citations and your bibliography. So this is incredibly convenient. Now I want to point out that if you're working in Word, there is a Zotero dropdown in Word and it works the exact same way. You add and edit your in-text citations here again allows you to choose a citation style and um, work in that classic view. You add and edit the bibliography with this button and you can change citation styles here. So with that, that um, is a demonstration of the basic functionality in Zotero. And I hope as you play around with this tool, you'll find that it's incredibly useful for all of your classes and will save you a lot of time while you're here at Carnegie Mellon.